Well, hello, Coffee Town friends. Welcome to Sunday, Southern Sunday Lunch. We're doing something totally different today, Mama. Do you see a little woman in there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll sit here. We're doing something totally different today. Normally, we cook a meal. We have mashed potatoes or something, something, something. Today, we're cooking some bits and pieces. We're going to do some potato salad. We're going to eat this for lunch, though, but we're having pimento cheese sandwiches toasted with lettuce and tomato. We're gonna have a little bit of macaroni salad, a little bit of potato salad. But it's a two-part process because I'm taking this to work tomorrow to share with some of my friends. It's not a big deal. And if you, you know, it's not like we're just gonna have lunch. So we decided since we all had to be at the same place, same time, and we didn't wanna to have to go out, let's just all bring a little something. So I'm bringing a few things. So I'm gonna wear, this mask today to cut up these because I'm gonna be talking and I'm gonna be talking over the food while I'm preparing it and I don't wanna do that and I've also got a glove. Don't normally do that, but anytime we're gonna share, take out, anytime it's not just gonna be right here at home, we do that. Now people's coming here to eat, we don't do that as much. We, we're very careful, we're very, very picky. I've washed these hands five times in the past 30 minutes. But just when I think I'm taking it somewhere, I always wanna go just a little bit farther. But I'm going to show you the, this down here. But when you see Batman come in for a potato, don't get nervous. And don't wonder, what in the world is he wearing that glove for? That's why. So I'm going to cut up this whole pot of potatoes because I'm going to be making potato salad my way. I know y'all, every time I make it, people go, what on earth, John? So just stick around and you'll see the end results. And Mama's going to make pimento cheese her way and macaroni salad her way. So she's got the bulk of the worry today to do. But I'm gonna be working this potato salad while we chat for a minute. So let's come right in here to the I'm cutting get board. My stuff ready. What are you gonna make first, Mama? I'm gonna put the macaroni on first. Macaroni for the salad. And then you're gonna be doing pimento cheese. Now, if I weren't gonna be topping my head off, I wouldn't worry about the mass because we're not contagious of anything we know of. But when you're talking, you know, you don't need to be talking while you're preparing food. Like this. If you're going to take it somewhere. This is just my own little personal crazy. Don't worry about it. It's just part of why I have OCD. And these potatoes are just your regular run the meal Irish potatoes. And I just peeled them all. Mama's washed them twice. So I'm cutting them in pretty good sized chunks. You see here? Not any smaller or anything different than if I was going to make mashed potatoes. And when I make my potato salad, I always make it totally different and people will say, why did you do that? I've never seen potato salad made that way, John. Well, I don't know. I tell the story. We made potato salad one night out of leftover mashed potatoes. And it was some of the best potato salad I ever made. And I thought so, and I was sitting there being all proud of myself and bragging on myself inside my head. Hadn't said a word to Mama. And she said, I tell you what, I like that potato salad better than any you've made in a while. I said, do you, Mama? She said, yeah, and I said, I did too. She said, what'd you do different? I said, the only thing I did is just use mashed potatoes. And I said, everything else was exactly the same. And we got to talking about it, and I said, the only thing different is the butter and the cream or the evaporated milk that we use. And she said, hmm. So the next time I make potato salad like this, just from scratch, didn't use leftover mashed potatoes, I thought, I'm gonna put me a little butter and a little cream in it. And that's what I do. And it, they turn out wonderful. I also put carrots in mine. So, um, see this might be different than you've ever seen before. Every time I make it, I get tons of questions. Why did you do that, John? And I always have to say, that's just the way I make it. So I'm just going to put these off. You see how I'm doing. I'm just cutting them up on the board, slicing them right over there. And this is the way we do it. I love to cook for people. I've done it my whole life. My mama does it. She loves it. Uh, that was one of my favorite things that the restaurant was fixing, something I knew people was going to enjoy and like, and people would say, oh, that was so good. 
That's my favorite thing to do when I'm entertaining here is for people to come and enjoy the food and say, can I get that recipe? That was so good. Uh, I share all my recipes. Never have been one to hold any recipes. The only one recipe I never give out anymore is the chicken salad. Uh, the way we fix it. It's a little different than whatever else fixes. But uh, we fix it for the church and we sell it for the church. So I really feel like it's not my recipe anymore to give out. Um, so, that's about the only recipe I don't just share. Because if you, a lot of people have their secret family recipes. Mama never did have a secret recipe. Did you, Mama? No, never. We always say, here, try it, fix it. You, If we like it, you'll like it, maybe, and you can just fix it for your family. That's just the way it goes. So here, I'm going to share my secret family recipe with you today for my potato salad and the way I make it. I don't like mustardy potato salad. I don't even care a lot for real chunky, chunky potato salad. And I don't like dry potato salad. Um, I like it to be good and creamy, but yet some chunks. And I like it to be some mustard, but not yellow mustard. I don't want it just mustard and onions. I've tasted potato salads before, and basically it was mustard and onions. And uh, that's not the way I like it. You'll see the difference when I get mine done. But it's going to be a minute because these potatoes got to cook. Hope this re this interview or this interview. Hope, hope this is not going to be a huge long long. Let's see. It's, let's see how long it is. It's two ten. We've been on here five minutes. So hopefully this ain't going to be an all day video. We're trying to do some prep ahead of time and not keep y'all on here as long. But then sometimes when we do prep ahead of time, some of y'all get mad at us for prepping. And they'll say, I liked it better when you used to prepare stuff, John. So, we try to meet in the middle somewhere, don't we, Mama? Yeah, and it don't work out sometimes. <laughs> we try, though. And Mama will try to fix the whole meal without you. And I'll say, Mama, she said, I've seen that a hundred times. I don't want to see no more of that. Mama's going to put that on the stove for us, and I'm going to do celery and onions now. So... That's what's next, celery and onions. This is a yawa onion. I've already got all the outer stuff off from it and I'm going to put it on my board here, slice it in half, and get ready to slice it and dice it. So let's go back down here and check that out. So this is a yawa onion, you can see, and I'm just going to do some pretty good slices and just get it ready for the potato salad. I've got to grate some carrots. Yes, carrots in my potato salad. What? Yep, love them. They give it a little sweetness. They also make it pretty. Give it a little color, a little sweetness. And now that I've made it with them, I can't hardly make it without them. Isn't that the way it goes, though? This is yellow onion. Now with a potato salad, you want that um, you want that onion flavor. You want the real onion flavor in there. Because that's what potato salad is all about. I thought this might be a good time too to do these kind of things. Because you are getting ready to start cooking out, grilling, meat and potato salad, macaroni salad. And all those goodies. And the other night, somebody was asking about Mama's macaroni salad. And she does make delicious macaroni salad. Macaroni salad is one of those things that we have several recipes for. We have Mama's macaroni salad. We have one that we put peas in. We have different varieties of the same name. Macaroni salad to us. If we say Mama's, we know exactly what we're talking about, though. And today, it's going to be Mama's macaroni salad. 
those two little onion pieces. I make one macaroni salad that I don't put any mustard in, I just put mayonnaise. Make one with some peas in it. And then we make one. Mama puts a little mustard, little mayonnaise. She's gonna show you this, but I'm just talking about it now. And she puts a little bit of different stuff in hers. And a little bit of sugar to make it sweet. A lot of people have tasted Mama's macaroni salad. And they'll say, oh, Tootsie, we love your macaroni salad. Uh, we usually have our better circumstance party in the fall. Lord willing, we'll try to have that this year. I'd love to have it and let y'all see it. If everything works out this year and if we're not under COVID or any other, I don't know what we're gonna be under, but you know how it is. You know how it is, folks. Things like stuff comes along when you least expect it. So now there's our onions. I'm just gonna bring them over here to one side. because I'm also going to do some carrots. I'm not going to let Mama get ahead of y'all though. I'm going to let y'all see her make her wonderful macaroni salad and her wonderful pimento cheese. Because I know a lot of y'all, Mama's organized this drawer. Mama, did you take the grater? Yeah. Where'd you put it? In yonder. In yonder? Mama's organized this drawer. So about three-fourths of everything was in its gun. She says it's in yonder. Are you gonna get it for us? Or you got another one? I could put these through the chopper, but I want to have the control of just how big they're gonna be. I'm drinking coffee. And I'm drinking y'all's sweet tea peach flavor. Mmm. I can't wait for this pimento cheese. Can't wait for the pimento. Well, if any one of them will be fine, your old tiny box grater will work. Um, I love the toasted pimento cheese sandwich with a little bit of lettuce, a little bit of tomato. I don't know if it's in here or not. It's a white one. Is this stuff you got out of that drawer? Yeah. Well, here's my spoons. I'll have to go through this stuff, Mama, and reclaim what you take. Here's the hot one over here. That's the one. Here's the spiral chopper, the egg chopper. Well, there she got a fancy little bowl full of goodies, haven't you? This is it. It's right there all along. This is what smooth operating people. This is what you call smooth operating. Now this is just a little Tupperware grater. I like to use it because I can go back and forth. And it's so sharp and does such a good job. Now you want to grate your carrots because if you chop them, they're still going to be too coarse or little bitty. You just want the hint of them there. You don't really want like a big chunk of them or anything. I am making an extra big batch because that's like I said, I'm gonna share some of this. And so it's what we're gonna eat today. And then it's what I'll have for lunch tomorrow. But I'm gonna take some to share. If you never heard of putting carrots in your Sweet potato, or sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes are orange, carrots are orange. You see the connection there? That's how I live. If you've never heard of putting carrots in your potato salad, this first time for everything. Carrots are sweet. So it's, it's it just has an extra sweet flavor. Plus it makes it beautiful. You'll see in the end. What are y'all cooking today? Love Mama's apron. So what do y'all about that? Mama likes that apron very well because it's um sunflowers. Well it's sunflowers, but it's also it's not cloth. It's um I don't know, it's durable. It's almost like a tablecloth. 
it's terribly durable and she can get grease splatters on it, it wipes off. She can get flour on it, it wipes off. Now she likes our aprons too, like I wear. And she wears them a lot of times, but she's over there. Uh, what are you doing, Mom? Nothing macaroni? Yeah, it's She's got macaroni going. She knows that butter water will be all over, so she got that so she could just wipe it off. Now these are baby carrots that I'm grinding, but you can do any kind. You can do uh, real carrots. I call them all real. You know, they're all real carrots, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Big carrots. Fully grown carrots right out of the ground. These baby carrots, they're little, but they're sweet. I try to buy mine from California because when I see them in the stores, the ones from California seem to be sweeter. Maybe I'm making that up. There's a possibility, but that's how I see it. Now I got a whole handful of carrots there. I need to just chill out. Can y'all see what I'm doing? Come right down here. I feel like I'm playing an instrument. What instrument would this be? A hurdy gurdy? What's the instrument they lay down and play? A, a steel guitar or something? Steel guitar, a dulcimer. Dulcimer, that's what I was thinking. There is a hurdy gurdy though, isn't there? I don't know. Yes, there is. Somebody tell me that. I didn't make that up. There is an instrument called a hurdy-gurdy, I know. I make buttermilk biscuits and eggs with sauce. Oh, that sounds so good. Uh, pot roast, Timothy, that sounds wonderful. We had pot roast last Sunday for Easter and it was delicious and we had soup. We had open face roast beef sandwich. We just made a, a week of that pot roast and boy was it delicious. Maggie's come in to get her a little drink. Yeah, I'm throwing away these ends of these carrots. I don't want that end in there. If I were making a soup or something, I could put it in a stock, but. How many? I don't know. I'm just looking at my pile here and thinking, that ain't quite enough. It's hard to say how many because there's so many different sizes of these little carrots. Mama, you ready to do something? They're getting tired of watching me do carrots. You'll have to keep it up till I get this one done. What is that? I'm gonna try this with the cheese. Oh, she's trying something new with the cheese. Have you got the other part of it? You know, last night we had those cheese bread. Keep on keeping on. Mom will be over here in a minute to do pimento cheese and a macaroni salad. Mama dropped the set out of her ring again. And it's rolled across the floor. It's what, what was that? The grinder. Oh, the grinder. We may be box grading our cheese today. We might do that, but that's not. Well, bring that over here and I'll see what I can do for you. I have brown cheese on that floor, didn't I? Not on this one. Oh, this is a different one? Well, I think I got our cable fixed this morning. The technician guy came yesterday and he thought he had it fixed, but then he wouldn't work. He said our HDMI cord was wrong. Well, this morning, something came to me. What if he switched it on the source, on the TV, to HDMI, HDMI 3, he had. When I did that, it came right on. So Mama's men are back, hopefully, if we can find them. They're all over the place, because they're on different channels now. But Mama will find them. Better give her something to do tomorrow. Is to find Perry. 
and Monk and Andy. Who else are you looking for, Mama? All of them. All of them, she's saying. I ain't had two feet in over a week now. Over a week, no men in the house. No Andy, no Perry. That could be enough carrots. We're going to look in a minute and see. But I've got them right here in case I need more. Mama, is this new thing here? Yeah. You just got it last week, didn't you? Yeah. So you got the grinder attachment? I think I've got it all. All right, hand it here and we'll put it together. And we'll get you to make them cheese. They're tired of watching me grate carrots. There's a blade. Ooh, okay. surely that ain't the blade we have to use for cheese. Is it? I still want it. Is that right? Now this is for sausage or something. Well, that's all I got. We gotta have a grinder. You gotta have a. Um, I guess I'll box it. She guesses she'll box it, so we figure this out. I ain't got the rest of this. You gotta have your your uh, grater blade, and it's different than this. Well, I don't have. You it. don't have it. I don't have it handy. Right. I ain't unpacked it. You gotta unpack it. Well, we'll use the box grater. I, if you're looking at your big flat one, I will uh, be grating cheese for you. How's that sound, Mama? Mom and I don't want to do anything easy. We'd rather not. This thing came over on the arc right here. This is it's just a flat. So here we go. Mama, let's get the little woman in there. No. Mama, look, look at Mama in purple. Ain't she a doll today? <laughs> okay, so this is a jar, a whole jar of pimentos, and we use. Pimentas, we don't drain not one drop of that beautiful juice out of them because you're going to need that beautiful juice. It's going to make it taste wonderful. I'm going to put my sweet tea in there. Hand me a plate and I'll do it for you. And you go ahead and start on your pimentas, getting your sugar in there. Now she's going to put a little sugar in here and that will get it to go. This is a little Velveeta or Marbella or somebody. Marbella, the little babita. Whichever one this is. Let's if you really want to grate your cheese, put it in the freezer for a minute. Mama, you left this again. I thought she was going to do some sugar. sugar in there. I've got the Did you hear? She's got to move around in order to cook. What do you have to do to make them in sheets? All I've got is like a tablespoon of sugar in here. Did you try to put it in there? Yeah. When I went looking? Well, sure. Do y'all see her? No. <laughs> and I'm just dissolving it. It's dissolved in there. Table? Tell me about the jar of pimentos. And the jar of pimentos is just a, It's diced pimentos and it's a uh, four ounce jar. And that's what I've got in it. That's only two things that's in there right now. And you stir it around, letting it dissolve. Yeah, you have to let it dissolve real good. And I got my cheese. So I'm in here in this cheese paper. And this is the, the cheese I'm going to use next. And I've got a new five pound. Why don't you set this back in the freezer and let me have some of that and it'll keep this cleared out. I've got this chunk. Okay. 
this last cheese is easier to grate than that Velveeta because that Velveeta is soft. It's soft to start with. Sure, it would be easier if we had our grinder. I thought we demonstrated it. Not that one. We're not making much of this Yeah, not a lot. Just enough. Mama, what's well, next? Then all I'm going to do is uh, mix it up. So you're going to go and dig your macaroni? And I've got it cooking, so I don't know about it yet. How far is it? It's a... Uh, so here's grated cheese. I've been grating over here. And it'll go right in here. Just right in there. Get that up there for me if you can. You'll have to do some more of that hard cheese to get it up. Breaking up the bottom. And you want to cover your cheese with the pimento because that's your flavor and that's where you're sending all the flavors on every bit of cheese that's in there. You don't want to just dump your cheese in there and then your mayonnaise and start stirring it around. You want that cheese to be pimento cheese. I used to drain it, but I quit draining it. No. There's a lot of flavor in that cheese. And it doesn't make it runny, it just makes it soft. No, it don't run, it don't well, make your pimento cheese watery. Some people put cream cheese in it, and that's fine. I've tasted it, it's good. But we don't. We never have done the cream cheese version. Well, yeah, we have. I have before. Have you? No. I've done a little bit of cream cheese in it. This is brand new oil. Making pimento cheese, and I've done it all these years like this. My granny sure could make some good pimento cheese now. Oh, but she would get off the rules sometime. I remember one time she said she was going to make pimento cheese, and I was so excited. I'm just going to turn around here because uh, Mama is going to leave y'all. I was so excited that Granny was making pimento cheese. And I come in. She said, you want a pimento cheese sandwich? I said, yeah. She made me a pimento cheese sandwich, and guess what she had decided to do? She put sweet pickle relish in it. Don't do it. It ain't good. And I said, Granny, what did she say? I thought I'd try that. I said, well, I, I, I guess she did. She said, don't you like it? I said, I, I like the other much better, Granny. I like it without better. So she tasted it and she decided she liked it pretty good. But since I liked it better, she wouldn't put it in there no more. So I never did know if she really didn't like it. Or she was just really being nice, but it, it, it wasn't a good thing. She got her um, tuna salad and her pimento cheese making crossed up. Now, a lot of people put pickle relish in it. Not me. Yeah, I just never did. No, I don't want any. If you tell me you're going to have pimento cheese, tell me if you're going to put pickle relish in it. I'm not really liking it. Do you put pickle relish in yours? A lot of you are going to say, John, I always put pickle relish in it. Well, mm -mm, not me. But I never will forget that day. I thought I was having Granny's pimento cheese. And instead I had some unidentified pimento cheese. Oh, it was a, it was a bad letdown. Why are you wearing gloves and a mask? Anna, am I wearing these gloves? Yes, Anna, I am. I told y'all when it started, uh, I'm going to take this for uh, for friends tomorrow, and I don't want to be talking over the food the whole time I'm sitting here without having this mask on. So when I've been doing the uh, onions and the carrots and all that, I was wearing this mask while I talked to y'all. Uh, so that's the reason. I'm not contagious that I know of. I'm not sick that I know of. Thank the Lord. But I don't want to be talking the whole time I'm grating cheese and doing all that and then going to serve this to people.
just don't like the idea of it. Now, when we're sitting here and it's just me and Mama, I don't worry as much about it, but when you're going to share it, take it to church potluck or take it to work, I don't, I take every precaution I possibly can. And uh, so that's the reason. One uh, time I done it, and people said, he's putting on airs. I ain't never seen him do that before. Uh, well, I haven't been taking it out anymore, a week. So that's the reason we do it. Mama's back. Mama's landed again. Yeah. Housefly's back. Now, Housefly, tell us what you're doing. It's just the pimento cheese. I mean, the pimentas, a tablespoon of sugar, and the cheese. That's all in here. Mm -hmm. And the, the pimento is the small jar, undrunk. Do you want me to, you got that frozen cheese or the, in the freezer? You need some more. Yeah, I'm going to leave this a sandwich or two and take it with you. So. Well, I'm just going to eat a sandwich out of it today for lunch. This is lunch. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. And I need more more attention. I want you to check the spaghetti and see if it, I mean. It's, it's good. Noodles can see if I can tell they're good. Tender up. They're good. You want me to eat one? They're perfect. Tender enough? Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, what all do we need to do? You're going to get your, you're going to do your mac running salad now, then? Not yet. Because my eggs are full. Oh, you got your eggs? So, see, this isn't a meal that we're pulling together like normal. We're doing really three different things, but we're going to eat two of three of them. We're going to have a pimento cheese sandwich, and we're going to have some macaroni salad. And we're going to have a little bite of potato salad. How's my potatoes doing? I think they're done. All right, then I can make potato salad while you're finishing up in betwixt and between here. Now, this cheese is grading a little better than it did a while ago because it was in the freezer for about five minutes. You don't have to freeze it solid. You just want to get it till it's not warm and melty. And you just want to shred it up. And that's what we're doing. Shredding this cheese for pimento cheese. Good old pimento cheese. Is there anything better than a good pimento cheese sandwich with a homegrown tomato in the summertime? Or a BLT with a homegrown tomato? It's just wonderful. Or just a homegrown tomato on a salad dressing sandwich. You see where I'm going with this? I'm wanting tomatoes. I'm wanting tomatoes, folks. I'm ready for them. You're ready, ready for tomatoes, huh? Yes, ma'am, I am. All right, Mama, your macaroni's done. You want to start your macaroni salad, or you want me to do potato salad? Do potato salad, because I'll work on the eggs while you're working on it. Did you see Mama Sue doing those eggs in a glass the other day? Uh, she just rolled them in a glass, and they came off. They peeled. So here's the rest of our... Um, cheese that was the Velveeta type cheese. Right in there it's going. Why are you going to mix? I'm going to use that. I'm going to mix it in that. Did you want more of this cheese? Yeah. You want me to grade it while you're working on it? If you want to. I'll switch jobs with you. Switch. So here you go. I've done most all the other so. Let's get the cheese cleared about what oh what what a mess what a mess is there cream in there or do I have to get cream? There's a little cream. All right, let's turn back around this way. Huh? I don't know. If there well, there's none. I can tell. I tell you, I stored. Now I don't have the celery ready for this yet, but that's okay. Got a I'm just set that hot on over here. I'll get you another. There you go. Thank you, ma'am. Now this is just potatoes as if I were going to mash them. And you're gonna think, well, that's what you're gonna do, ain't it? Because that's what I look like I'm gonna do, but I really ain't. 
So I left a little bit of the water in there, but not much. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of cream in here. Not as much as I do if I'm gonna mash them. And then I'm gonna put some butter. So you got softened butter over there, I can use some other refrigerator. You don't have softened, I'll get a stick. I have to send a little bit more cream. How much softened we got? Oh, we got plenty. So we want to put a half a stick of butter in there. A good half stick. Sorry about the pecking. I know, I know, sorry. Good half a stick, and this is already softened. I'm just going to mix that around. Now, this is potato salad. Don't get confused. This is the part where I get all the comments. Why did you put cream and butter in potato salad? Because I made them out of leftover mashed potatoes one time, and we absolutely loved them. We decided that was the best potato salad we ever had. So when we made that decision, we decided, huh, the only thing different between what we always do and this is we don't have butter and cream in our potato salad. Now, I told y'all I don't like the big, thick, chunky kind. I don't want it all full of onions. I want a good blend. So that's what I'm doing here. Now, I put about two tablespoons of, this is equal brand evaporated milk. Yeah. I'll start saying condensed, but that's not. No, problem. it's not eagle brand condensed. Don't no, don't get that don't get that rumor started. It's evaporated milk. Just like cream. Like you would use if you're going to make mashed potatoes. So I make extra lumpy mashed potatoes is what I've done here. And I know some of y'all are going to judge. Don't judge. Just enjoy. This is the mashed potato this is the potato salad process. So there they are. And I'm gonna put a good number of carrots in there, or uh, carrots in this, uh, about a good three-fourths of this onion that's going in here. And then most of my carrot is going in. Now this carrot is just gonna give it color and sweetness. This is potato salad, folks. I know some of you are gonna say, what on earth is he making? He said potato salad, but he's made mashed potatoes. He's put carrots in it. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. That's what we're up to. Go with the process, folks. Go with the process. This is going to be delicious, I promise, delicious potato salad. Mama, did you put salt in this? Yeah, I put salt when I cooked it. Okay, so I'll put a little bit of black pepper. You'll have to taste it. That's all I need is just see if I can salt. It's got onions and carrots in here. Salt and pepper. Well, I ain't put salt yet. It has in the potatoes, though. I think it's good. I'm going to declare it. Fine. Did you get pickle relish out? I got pickle relish right here. I'm gonna get the, you want any carrots in your macaroni salad? No. Well, there's gonna be a few because I've got your onions here and. They kind of combine, Mama. That's Mama's onion for her macaroni salad. We just got all kinds of stuff going here today, okay? This is the potato salad that we're working on. This is the base that we're working on right now. This is our pickle relish. This is just sweet pickle relish. I know some of y'all like dill. I'm putting about a good heap of tablespoon in here for this amount. And I need the yellow mustard. You already have it on your side for the, for the no. mustard. Um, Mama's finishing up the, well she ain't finishing up, but she's grating the cheese. Now you can put, um, 
you can put Dijon in this if you want. And I'm only gonna put a quarter size in this whole amount of potatoes. That's it folks, one quarter size. And in goes the mayo. Just use whatever mayo you have. And I'm gonna put a fourth of a cup of mayonnaise. Not a lot. Put it right over there. And we're gonna mix it. Mix it good. Pick a relish was about a good tablespoon for this amount. Mustard, a good quarter size glob of it in there. Mayonnaise, about a fourth of a cup. I use the warm potatoes, and this is warm. Some people like warm potato salad. Some people like it cold. I like it both ways. I think I prefer it warm. And I'll put mine in the microwave sometime. But you can see the lumps in there. But you see how pretty it is, the color. It's not the orange, it's not the mustardy kind. It's got your pickle relish, it's got your mayonnaise. You can put celery in it for the crunch. Um, I'm not gonna put celery in this. I'm gonna put um, maybe a little celery seed, but I may even leave that out. I'll taste it in a minute. I'll let you know if I decide it. I do it both ways. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Now I may have to add a little more mayonnaise in this because it does get thicker as it cools, but that's potato salad. Didn't even add any more salt, just the salt the potatoes was cooked in, and there it is. And you can see the beautiful carrots in there. It just gives it a pretty color. And that is potato salad 101, my way. You want to put your eggs in it? Yes, and um, I'm going to put boiled eggs in it. Mama's fixing them. Peel that one. I'm going to lay it on that cheese plate. Where's your, that egg thing you had up here? It's down on that. Okay. I knew I'd seen it not long ago. Now, if someone is allergic to eggs, you need to tell them, hey, there's eggs in that. You put it in there like that. Dump it out in your hand. Put it in there like this. It comes out perfect every time. That's one little eggy. I put salt and salt in here and it's still not getting good. Mama Sue didn't put anything. She rolled hers in a glass. Just put it in the glass and rolled it. And it came right out. I'll probably put three boiled eggs in here. And that's all I'm going to put. Don't look like any potato sub you ever made. I understand. It's different. It's smooth. It does have the carrots. It does have uh, cream. It does have butter in it. I understand. Some of y'all are thinking, what on earth? But then again, you have to consider you haven't tasted it. You haven't tasted this yet. Mama, tell me what you think about this. I said, tell them what you think of this potato salad. Oh, it's good potato salad. It's 
It's always good on it. All right, three boiled eggs is what it got. You don't want another one peel right quick. Do you think it needs another one? We'll need them for yours. We'll need them for your macaroni salad. Now, the eggs are in, pickle relish is in, the carrots are in, the onions are in, the cream, the butter. Everybody who was invited to the party has shown up. So now we're going to do a little quality control. Here comes some quality control. And we're just going to try it. And I'm going to tell you the verdict. See what it needs, see if it needs anything. Mama, taste this and see if you think it needs a, a dot of salt. I would put salt on mine. I think it needs salt, but you may not, because it didn't put any more salt in it. Give me a little bit. Well, come over here and taste it. It's trying to hide. Here, get a... Well, here. taste it. Look. Watch it. It's good. Maybe you should put it, no. I don't know if you put another egg on I think it needs more salt for me and you, but I don't know about your people at work. No, if they're salt it. eaters or not. If you think it needs more salt, and I think it needs more salt, it's getting a little taste of salt. Yeah. Getting over salted. But I haven't had any salt. Now, I'm not going to taste any more. I'm going to eat it in a minute. And if it, I'm sure that little bit of salt's all it needed because everything else is perfect. And that's my version of potato salad. And yeah, there's a bunch of it, but that's fine. We'll have some. All right, Mama, we're ready for macaroni salad. We are. Yes. We got to move along here. You'll have your eggs. What are you going to mix your macaroni salad in? I guess that stainless steel flat over Okay. I'll switch with you. Sounds like a plan. That's done. We don't need cream for the, or evaporated milk for. Do not mix this up, folks. When I said Eagle Brand, 99.9% .9 of y'all probably thought condensed milk. This is not condensed milk. This is evaporated milk. It's just cream. It's just the brand. Just like the sweetened milk. This is the condensed milk. The condensed Eagle brand is what we're all used to, but this is cream. Or uh, evaporated store, milk. Store, the whole store had that. Yeah, our store, we just have to use whatever our stores has. If it's that's the brand they have. That's the brand we use. Uh, makes it easy that way for us. Can't be picky. This is our um, macaroni. And I'm going to, Mama's going to bring me some eggs. Now I'm going to go ahead and put these onions right in here. Because this is the rest of the onions and the rest of the dropper cooked carrot. You know what? A little color ain't going to hurt this macaroni salad either. In goes our onions. Here is three eggs ready. You want more than three eggs in yours, though. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and start these eggs. Just that egg jump. See if I can get the hang of turning these eggs. This is an easy way to do eggs, folks. I have a hard time chopping them, getting them just right. Now I know I'm using my ungloved hand some, but it's clean. I just want to take a little extra precaution.
you know those people who are paranoid and overcautious and you know I'm one of them I don't want any way that there could be anything wrong with food if I'm preparing it oh we've been here a while I apologize I know y'all come get it takes a while to cook, folks, if you're cooking from scratch. And that's four eggs in there. Mama, you want more eggs than that? I'm feeling my Five eggs. Woo! The chickens have worked for this macaroni salad. Well, this one's... Those are white. That must have been fresh. It's just Do you want a um, little mustard in here and a pickle relish? Yes, sir. I'm making, mama, I'm making mama's um, macaroni salad for you. I'm going to put a good quarter size in there. How much pickle relish would you like, Mama? A couple of spoons full of more. Now, Mama said, that's Mama's way of doing things, and it confuses me to death. A couple of spoons full or more. Well, I want to see what it looks like. One, two? Yeah, give a little more. Three? Yeah. And I put a quarter size mustard. Okay. Now here, as you see, she's got this going on. We got I stuff. I want them to see this. This is hold it up close so they can see it. It's turned. See, it's pinkish. It's pinkish. It's glistening. It's covered completely in pimento. Every bite of cheese, you could not get a bite of cheese out there and not have pimento on it. And that's what you want because this is pimento cheese. And all I like for it is mayonnaise. And I, it don't take much, folks. I'm going to show you how little it does take. That's a good tablespoon right there. And we're gonna go with a tablespoon and a bit and see what we end up with. You would think pimento cheese would have a half a cup of mayonnaise in it. It don't, if you do it this way. And when we get through with it, it's gonna taste like pimento cheese and not mayonnaise. Now we're gonna put another Good half a tablespoon. And I think that's going to be enough. Yeah, right now. And if so it a, gets dry. A good tablespoon and a half of mayonnaise is all we use. If it gets dry, just add a little more mayonnaise and work it in. Stir it in and it'll be fine. Now in the morning, I'll check it. And if it needs more mayonnaise, I'll put it in there. But you see what it looks like. But I've let that cheese just sit in with the mayonnaise, the juice. And it makes it just so good. Okay, it's already is finished. Pimento cheese is done. Okay. Now you buy that in the store, it's convenient, it's easy, that's fine. But, it's this simple to make, folks. No salt, no pepper, no seasoning. Cheese. Uh, cheese is salty enough. Yes, there it is. That's pimento cheese. Cheese, mayonnaise, and pimento. That's all we put in ours. And you see how it turns out? You see the consistency? Look at that. That's what you want. And it's so easy. Just It's just the way you do it. If you just dump all that in there and dump um, the mayonnaise in there or you drain that pimento, you've lost your effect. All right, let's stir this. One quarter size of yellow mustard. There it is. One... Two, let's see, two tablespoons of mayonnaise and three, probably a tablespoon and a half of sweet pickle relish. Put that other egg in there. Mama, that's six eggs. No, that's five eggs. That made the fifth one. Oh. You counted it, but you didn't. All right, you're right. I remember now we were just talking about it. You don't want this to be egg salad. The reason you want these small, or that's the reason we want them small. We don't do big chunks of that usually. See, that's all chopped nicely. Now, Mama puts a little secret ingredient called sugar, sugar. Who ever heard the beat, Mama? Mama's the one's ever heard the beat. My mommy always made it that way. And what else you put in here, Mama? That's it. Mayonnaise, mustard, pickles, eggs, and uh, onions. Onions. 
salt and pepper. And a few carrots. Mmm, how delicious. This is a tablespoon of sugar that I'm just going to kind of do like this and you stir it. Do like in. what? Shaking it and then you stir it in. Do you want some more carrots in here for color? No. No. And then when you get it mixed up, we'll taste and have the final verdict on it. And then go ahead and put us down some toast. And we're ready to have lunch. Southern Sunday lunch at 3 o'clock. You ever heard the beat? First of all, we went to church. We never go to the store on Sunday, but we had to today. So we had to go to the store. Our church had a little longer, which was great because we had a wonderful service. We had to go to the store. Mama went to the post office to pick up the mail while she was out. That's the macaroni side, folks. Now that right there is a pickle out of the pickle relish. It don't look good. I'm taking it out, but it's just a pickle. Just the whole one makes it look that way. Mama, I'm gonna let you taste. Now that's perfection of macaroni salad, and I can tell by the way it looks. If you cook something long enough, you can cook by eye. And this is Mama's macaroni salad. You gonna taste? Oh, yeah. You taste and get the verdict. Come over here, Mama. I'm getting me a spoon. Oh, is this my taste? Yeah. Well, I wasn't gonna taste. I was just gonna take your word for it, but. Okay, you're not put that spoon in. Mom, this was a clean spoon. I don't care. <laughs> Mama. This was a clean spoon, and I just did, and I'm not going to double dip it. Mama won't even let you single dip. Look how red that mask is making my face. I look like a bandit. Oh, yeah. It needs salt and pepper. Mm-hmm. That's all it needs. And a little more mayonnaise, because it's going to dry. It's already drying some too much. Well, put your salt and pepper. You may put the pepper. Black pepper. Oh, that's enough. Black. I'm gonna stack it to the bottom. You're gonna have to stir it all up. Whoa, Clyde, that's enough salt. <laughs> Whoa, Clyde. Whoa. One. Two, but I'm gonna see. You know what? I'm tired of this thing. Ugh. The that's, I need to get such a little thing. Well, that's what you I had, had over here. I had a big spoon out for it earlier. That's what you had over here, Mama. I'm just, I'm just one of them practical people who have to use what I have. Mm. Right now, I've got a big old orange spatula that'll do a better job than either one of those things. Well, don't. Oh, I was going to say don't use it all, but I guess your jar is empty. My jar runneth empty. This is our store brand mayonnaise. It's good. Because we're running out of Dukes and I knew it would take a whole jar and sure enough, it did. But our store brand mayonnaise is delicious. If you haven't ever tried Save a Lot mayonnaise, it's... I'm thinking it could be Dukes or it could be JFG or something because it's really... Tasty, isn't it, Mama? It's tasty. And once we, again, or we just got used to it over the years. We use what we have. Mm -hmm. Mama, I have to admit, this does look more textured like yours. Because it was dry, and time you uh, let it set, it was been way too dry. Now, here I've got this poison spoon over here that I used one time. Can't use that again. So I ain't tasting it. Is this the serving spoon? This clean spoon? Yeah. Okay. That's a clean spoon. So there it is, folks. That's Mama's macaroni salad. So we got the macaroni salad made. We've got the potato salad made. And We're done. And the pimento cheese. And the pimento cheese made. So that's lunch today. What a lunch. Southern Sunday brunch. If we keep eating later, Mama, we're just going to be down to one meal, which won't hurt us, I'm sure. No, we could get down to one meal. It wouldn't hurt us at all. This has just been an unusual 
day. This is an unusual film and we've never made this messes like this before. So. Messes? Mama, I think everything was just wonderful. Yeah. I'm going to take my glove off now. I'm through. I'm through. I'm going to leave my apron on though because chances, oh mama, I know what I got to have is um, the cutting board and I'll I'll do this aroma tomato and get us some mm, iceberg. Here's your some. Here's your cutting board. Buddy. You want iceberg? I don't. You feeling with it? You know I don't eat lettuce much. Oh, okay. well, you I'm want this tomato. one or the aroma? That would be fine. I'm fine with the aroma. I haven't got a chance to speak to y'all much. It says uh, PJ says thumbs up. Stars and flowers. Thank you, PJ. Coffee. Let's see, Glenda says, too many starches, not enough greens. I would love some of it, though. Happy Sunday. Glenda, it is too many starches for one meal. And no, there's not any greens. Mama just loves it, though. She loves a, a greenless meal. You want uh, iceberg or spinach for your Oh, spinach will be good, Mama. There's me some greens, Glenda. Um, yeah, this is not your typical meal. We wouldn't be fixing this like this if it wasn't for taking it to work. Though. I'm just doing, we're doing potluck. So I'm just bringing my part. So tomorrow I'm going to take this macaroni salad and a little bit of that pimento cheese. And I'm going to take some potato salad. So that's just going to be, there's going to be other things there. I'm the starch king. My face is red. That mask is eating me up. Now, I'm not taking this tomato, so I'm not worried about talking over it. Um, did, did the mask bother your face? That didn't mind. I'm glad not to have to wear them now. I'm glad it ain't mandatory, and I'm glad that, you know, things have calmed down a lot. A little bit of for I'm glad things have calmed down a lot because they eat my face up. I've got some different ones. But these are those disposable ones. I'm gonna cut that center part of that tomato out. Put that over here in the garbage. I'm gonna get rid of a few of these stems since I'm gonna use this like lettuce. Look at that. Do y'all like to use spinach for lettuce? I do it all the time. If I go to Subway and get a sandwich, I always say just spinach, no iceberg. I like iceberg okay. I really do. But um, I love the spinach and I use it just like I do lettuce. Just for a little bit of green on my sandwich. Now what mama said, she ain't gonna eat none of that. I really have been looking forward to this lunch, even though it's a little offbeat, but I've been looking forward to it for two or three days now, thinking that pimento cheese sandwich is going to be so good. Mama makes pimento cheese often, but she can't make it often enough because I could have a little bit of it every day. I mean, I love it. Is this spoon I like to dip with or do you need a knife? I can dip with it. That's heavier than I was That's expecting. That's a load of pimento cheese. Expected now. About dropped it. I'm going to dip with this now. I'm going to show y'all. Look here. That toast and that pimento cheese, you put a big glob on there. I use a spoon all the time, even if I'd rather have it as a knife. And if you'll see my skills here, can, <laughs> I'm pretty good with a spoon. I know how to dip it off on the edges, just like that. Miss Brenda Gant was making a sandwich the other day. She was using mayonnaise. And I was a man in her the whole way. Yes, Brenda. Yes. Dip that spoon on that corner of that bread like that right there. Been doing that for years. I love that. That may probably just spoon. Mama says, get off that because you ain't messing mine up. Ain't that right, Mama? Yeah, I'm just going to use one piece of bread. And you want a big old center piece of this tomato? Yeah. On there. You just use one piece of bread. Yeah, because I don't do that. I'm going to eat some of that other. I don't need bread with. No, it's, it's what's, what's your name said? Well, go. We've got plenty of starch going on potatoes, macaroni, and bread. Woo! This is almost like potato, potato, potato. 
when your cousin fixed it that time. Yeah, she had fried potatoes, cooked potatoes, mashed potatoes. Oh, fried potatoes was cut little squares and some of them was cut circles. And Look at that. That's deliciousness in a, on a sandwich. And I could borrow your knife for a minute. Nope. Can't be sharing my knife, Mama. Please. I'm asking nicely. Lord, that must be potatoes. This this will have to be condemned. Well, let's wash it before we try to condemn it. Yes, ma'am. Now, I want a little bit of that delicious potato. Can I lay that bread over on it? Yes, ma'am. I want a little bit of that delicious potato salad. I can do that. Sorry, but I had to get We know this has been a long video. We apologize. We, we hate to keep y'all on here. But I'm telling you, we cook this as fast as we can. That's enough. Uh, we cook this as fast as we can, and hopefully we can get it done. But when you're fixing this many things, it does take a minute. We've been on here. And large quantities. An hour. A large quantity like we've done. Yes. So we've we've done a quick review here. Let's bless it, eat, take a bite, and then we'll let these folks go before they run us out of town. We're going to thank them very I know. Time. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful meal. We thank you for these precious hands that we're prepared to hear to Lord. We just ask you to nourish our bodies with it, be with us, watch over, lead, God, and direct this. And dear Lord, we just pray for all the prayer requests throughout there, both spoken and unspoken. In your precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, we're going to quickly take a bite, and then we'll let y'all go. We thank you for staying on here with us. Oh, uh, we yes. didn't mean to keep you all day. We went to go. I was hoping we could do it in 45 minutes, but we, we, we failed. Mama, your macaroni salad that I made under your tutelage. Let's see. It tastes just like yours. It's absolutely good. Needed the salt and pepper. Yes, it did. Mm hmm. It's delicious. Yeah. And tomorrow it'll be even better. Oh, yeah, the onion. Let me try my potato salad. Toot too, it's good. Mm -hmm. I have to check my own horn on the test side. It is good. Mom, what do you think about it? It's real good. Not too not mustardy, not too oniony. No, it's not. It's just right, ain't it? Yeah. Now, I don't even have to try this pimento cheese sandwich. Because I can tell you, it's good. My mom has never made bad pimento cheese. Not once, not ever. Let's try it though. Mm hmm. Peel it all the parts, John. Mm. I think I heard fireworks. Fireworks. <laughs> Is that good? Folks, that's how we got today. And you said, Lord, that's plenty. Hush and go on. As Mama says, we never can get to hush. Um, I was going to see if anybody had any questions before we go right quick. Anybody any questions? Don't apologize. Let people tell you goodbye and get on with that on their day. So, some of us, I can't, I can't read all that, but I think it was a positive comment. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. All right, folks, we're going to say goodbye. God bless y'all. Have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. If we do something later, we'll pop back on here. You say, please don't. You we won't do it. We won't for torture you that much again. <laughs> I'm going to play I'm having you all teach tea with this. It's just like a picnic. <laughs> I'm going to plan on spending a little porch time out this afternoon because it's, it's been stormy, but the sun's coming out. It's looking pretty up there. So we're going to try to do something relaxing today. Yeah. Mama, you got anything you want to add? No. Right, I then. think we've kept them on here long enough. We, we owe them a big apology today. All right, folks. Say goodbye, Mama. <laughs> goodbye, Mama. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.